Hi everyone, hope you're well and staying safe. Um, just thought I'd do you another little behind the scenes video to show you something we're working on here at Valve and Process Solutions. Um, today we're fitting some Atrig actuators to PECOS ball valves and we're fitting the Westlock uh, limit switch box on top of there. As well as a visual indication, we've got the switches inside to show the end of travel open and closed. And what we do before the valve leaves the customer, we actually set the switches inside the uh, switch box. So I'm gonna set the open and the closed switch. At Valve and Process Solutions, we tend to fit uh, to set the top switch for the closed position unless the customer wants us to do otherwise, that's kind of the standard that we do here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use the multimeter to do a continuity test on the top switch. And I do that by turning the cam. So it's a touch set cam on the west slot. So I depress the cam on the spring and I turn the cam around until I get the continuity on the multimeter and the audible sound there, if you can hear that on the video. Um, the beauty about the uh, touch set cams on the west lock is there's no tools required. So that's the top switch set top switch set for closed. And then I energize the valve, put some air into the actuator. The actuator moves to the fully open position. I then move across onto my next two points on the terminal strip. And you can see I've got the one there, so there's no continuity. So again, I basically lift the bottom cam, turn it around until I get the audible sound and the one disappears and I know that switch is set. And then if I just de-energize the actuator, that will change again to show the state of the switch has changed. And I get the one. So that's the top and the bottom switch is tested. I've just got to put the lid back on now, fasten up all the screws, and this can go to the customer along with uh, the other packages that we're doing. So just a quick video to show you how easy it is to set the switches in a Westlock limit switch box. Thanks very much for watching.